Yeah, guys, two senior citizens pulled up to the valet stand over there. Uh, back in October, they were here to have dinner when the crime crew rolled up. One woman fought back, and both helped identify members of that crew. Miriam Ben Shalom may qualify for Medicare, but she can still put up a fight. They probably thought, oh, two little old ladies, one who walks with a walker, oh, easy marks. Guess again. She was unloading her partner's walker when she saw the valet fighting off a teenager. They're fighting and he's trying to carjack us. So I tackled the jerk. The suspect didn't know he was messing with a former army sergeant who made history fighting the military's ban on gay service members. Ben Shalom says a second teen ran up and ordered her to let his friend go. And I went around and placed the toe of my boot in a very socially significant place and just told him that if he moved or if he struggled, he would walk funny for the rest of his life and urinate through a tube, and I meant it. Then a jeep pulled up, a guy with a gun, yelling. I'm gonna shoot you, you don't let him go, and I'm going to shoot them too. This is what he said, you know, with the gangster gun sideways. Now prosecutors have charged 17-year-olds Junior Moreno and Jesus Lazaro and 18-year-old Giovanni Zerflu in the Hotel Metro incident and dozens of other crimes. Prosecutors say they're members of the CT, or cutthroat mob. In just one night last summer, police say they vandalized more than 100 cars between Bayside and Bayview. Ben Shalom credits the training she and her partner got attending MPD Citizen Academy for helping police catch their would-be carjacker. Now he's going to go to jail because we knew what we were doing, we knew what to look for, and we knew how to identify them. And it's like other citizens can do this too. Now, police say the CT mob's M.O. is to steal cars for drug dealers, to steal license plates to help them avoid detection, and to flee the police because they know Milwaukee police cannot chase suspects in property crimes. But police say this is not the end of those CT mobster arrests. More are coming because their investigation is ongoing. At the Hotel Metro, Colleen Henry, WISN 12 News. Thank you, Colleen.